A troubled housing development in Brooklyn has now reached an agreement with the city to keep units rent stabilized. In exchange for the tax break, the property owners are also promising to improve the quality of life for tenants. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger covers Brooklyn and has the exclusive story from East Flatbush. Flatbush Gardens has 59 buildings, 2,500 units, and 10,000 residents. It's one of the largest housing developments in Brooklyn. For years, tenants complained of deteriorating conditions. Growing up, it was pretty rough. Lifelong resident Shawnee Samuels is now a community ambassador working to help her neighbors. Now I have double stake, not only as an employee, but as a resident. JJ Bistresser of Clipper Realty, which owns the property, says the company intends to turn things around. We are making every effort and respond to everything in a timely manner so that we can improve that reputation amongst the residents. This effort began last summer when the company reached an agreement with the city to get a $191 million tax break in exchange for several conditions. The development must remain affordable. It must invest around $27 million in capital improvements and 250 units must be set aside for the homeless. Nadine Akinyemi is the CEO of Bridging Access to Care, a social services nonprofit brought in by Clipper to connect residents to resources. Sources. This is really an innovative model, never been done before as far as I know, with a for-profit and a not-for-profit coming together to address the issues around the social needs of the individuals in the community. Do you feel optimistic that people's quality of life will improve because of the work you're doing? I am very optimistic and I think that's one of the reasons why JJ reached out to us. We have mental health services, we have um, substance use services is housing. Bistrister says the tax break has already allowed them to get the number of open violations from 4,000 to about 1,400. We're now able to go in and do holistic repairs or capital improvements versus doing more like localized repairs, which sometimes don't give you the ability to address the problem. Residents like Samuels hope the company is making a good faith effort to be a better landlord. In East Flatbush, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.